we are really blessed by being able to have such an amazing coffee as this Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee. And the coffee that we have here is from Stonely Estates. Now, there's a very interesting story about Jamaica coffee that indeed it was in 1728 when <clears throat> a gift was of one single coffee plant was given to the governor of Jamaica at the time and from that one plant uh, the whole all of the coffee that's growing in Jamaica uh, is now from that one single plant and indeed Jamaica had a very flourishing uh, coffee industry uh, but uh, once the uh, once, the, once the issue of the slave rebellion happened uh, in, the, in the district, in the area, in Dominican Republic, and, uh, that, and, and it also impacted Jamaica as well, so a lot of the people actually pulled out coffee trees and uh, planted food crops as they needed because the slaves were more interested in food than in coffee. But irrespective of that, um, the governments in the 1950s indeed decided that this coffee was so unique in character that they isolated an area um, that is between Kingston and the eastern ports, a couple of the eastern ports, and it's an area of only 6,000 uh, hectares, which I think is probably from here to uh, the MCG. So it's only a very small area, and uh, in that area it's very constrained, very constricted, and the government uh, applies very rigid controls over the growing, uh, the processing, and also the, uh, the marketing of this coffee. And it is such fantastic quality. The coffee grows on very steep slopes, and it's uh, got a really uh, lot of mist because it's, a, it's an island, and it's, uh, there's a lot of mist comes off the sea. And so with that mist, uh, along with the very rich volcanic soils, which are rich in iron and phosphorus, it creates this very subtle and very delicate coffee. Um, and it's a, a, a coffee which has wonderful nuances of, of uh, a creamy character of cashews and a lovely vanilla uh, acidity that sits at the front. And it's got a little bit of Dutch cocoa that sits in the back end of it. And it's a very delicate coffee to have, not really strong, but rich in flavor. Interestingly, those characters, characters are what the Japanese like, and they in fact buy about 90% of the whole crop of this Jamaica Blue Mountain. It, it sells at <clears throat> around $240 a kilo, which might well scare people off. But the reality is that it's just the equivalent of a great bottle of wine. Indeed, a, a bottle of Grange will cost between $500 and $600. $600. And so what you have here is at $240 for a kilo, there's a lot of cups of coffee in, in, a kilo of, in a kilo of coffee. So it's really still not an expensive per cup cup of coffee. So what we, are, what we have here is uh, a coffee which is grown on small hectares. In Stonely Estate, for example, it's about 35 hectares, but there's lots of growers which have small parcels of land around four hectares. And it is that coffee which is pu pulled together at some of the government washing stations and processing mills, and out of that coffee comes Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee. And so it's going out to our stores uh, this week, which is fantastic, and um, it's going to be a very, very easy coffee to sell once people get to understand that they shouldn't expect a really strong coffee. It's actually a coffee to sit on Sunday morning and uh, simply dwell on it and consider it and understand the nuances and the complexities of this wonderful experience. And that's really what this coffee's about. It's about being gentle with it. It's about being taking some time and understanding those nuances just as you would with a wonderful bottle of, uh, a wonderful bottle of, uh, of, of wine. So I just think it's a great opportunity to go out and uh, enjoy this fantastic coffee. Best made, uh, what we have experienced is that it really comes up very well as a filter coffee. As where it's steep, the water is steeped through all of the complexities of the, of the, and the flavours of the coffee, but we also love it as an espresso coffee. When we've made it as espresso, it really pitches up and brings out the, the sweetness of the coffee and the creaminess of the coffee. So uh, we love it in espresso as well. So it's great. All right, so I think I need to rest up and uh, I hope you can enjoy your coffee.